Hey everyone, in this video I want to introduce our brand new mobile app feature, Buttons. Now you can execute scenarios directly from your mobile device. Pretty neat, right? I'd also like to mention here that the Button feature is designed mainly for personal productivity rather than workflow automation. The setup procedure for iOS and Android are very similar. For this video, I will be using Android. Alright, so let's jump in. First, I need to configure the button on the mobile app. To create a button, I'll click on the Buttons tab here. Then, I need to click on My First Button on the next screen. I'll name the button Test. The button ID will automatically be populated with the button name, however, it can be edited if required. The button ID is very important as it will be used in the mobile module when building the scenario. Under Properties, the color and icon can also be customized. I'll use the default setting and hit Save. And here is the new button. Now, let's create a scenario by choosing the new Watch Button module for either iOS or Android. Here I can add a device or simply select one that has already been added. In the Button ID field, I need to enter the ID of the button that I just created in the mobile app. It's vital that the button ID in the mobile app matches the button ID in the module here for it to work correctly. That's it. The module is configured. Now I'm going to create a scenario that will execute when I press this button and all my meetings for the day will be sent to me via Slack. So let's add the Google Calendar Get Events module. As always, I need to add a connection to my Google account or simply select one from the drop-down list and select the calendar. I only want the current day's meetings to be sent to me, therefore the date and time range are required for the Google Calendar module. I will need to use a function to achieve this. So under Start Date, I'll click on the Date and Time tab and select the Set Hour function combined with the now variable. The now variable returns the current date and time when the scenario is executed, or in this case, when the button is pressed. But I want all the meetings for the entire day to be sent to me and not only the ones at the time the scenario is executed. So I need to change the start time to 12 a.m by setting the hour to zero here. I'll just copy the same function and paste it under the end date field. I just need to set the end time hour to 23 as the set hour function only accepts zero to 23 hours. I'll also set the maximum number of returned events to 10. Next, I'll add the Slack Create a Message module. I need to add or select my connection and choose the channel. This will be a direct message to myself. And lastly, I need to map the meeting details here to compose the message. I'll map the event name here. And for the start date, I'll use the format date function as I want the date and time of the meeting to display correctly in my time zone. I'll do the same for the end date. Alright, it's showtime. So let's run the scenario. The scenario has executed successfully and as you can see here there's two meetings for today which was retrieved from the calendar and sent to me through Slack. And that's it. Another handy option 
is that you can add the button as a widget on your mobile home screen. Let me show you. Tap and hold on an empty space and select widgets. Scroll to the Integromat app and click it. The button or buttons, if you have more than one, will be added to your screen. Now your scenarios are literally just a click away. Enjoy the convenience of executing scenarios at any time, anywhere. Thanks for watching.